Arknights is absolutely rushing it right now and if you haven't heard Arcato's banner will be coming out. None of the characters on this banner are absolutely broken. They are very good but interesting mostly than broken I would say. <laughs> but this is the banner that I have been most anticipating. Yes there's a lot of good characters on other banners like I want Dusk and uh, Sculptor. All of those things are really good but this is the only banner where I've wanted the 6 star, 5 star and 4 star so much. And hey if you want to come discuss about this banner and talk to me and the rest of the community you can join us at discord.gg forward slash polar Link is in the description, I'll see you all there. But first, let's talk about Arketo, right? So, she's a very well-designed character. I really like her design. Uh, this is the same artist that through Skadi, that's why the weapon is so cool. She's an anti-air sniper, and that would mean she would compete with someone like Exusia. But if you look at her stats and everything, there's not too much to actually make her beat Exusia. I feel she's a bit more of a sniper because she has this, this thing called when deployed, recover one offensive recovery SP to all sniper operators every 2.5 seconds. Now that'll help someone like your, like any of your sni snipers basically on skill 1 I believe, because like most of them have a blue poison, I think grey throat, cruise. <laughs> I think it even buffs Exusia. I think she's a bit more of an AoE sniper than a single target sniper. She handles two targets simultaneously, she has a big ass range. Why just make another Exusia or make a stronger version of her when you can add a bit more of a supportive characteristic to, the, to her? I don't think she's bad, I think she's good. People have said she's underwhelming because I mean her stats are like you know, sniper stats. And in this point of the game, there's so much, so much enemies with such high defense, it's actually stupid. Arts damage is kicking it, and you're, if you want to be physical damage, you have to be as thick as thorns or blaze. So now we have Iris. Iris is actually someone I really like. She looks really cool. I love her design and everything. And I love her kit, but I don't, like I said, I don't think it's because it's broken, but because it introduces something new and fun. So firstly, her trust bonus is going to give her 130 attack, right? <laughs> now, I just want to talk about this, but her attack is fucking huge. It's 130 onto this, which is going to be about 1,400-ish. That is what you need to keep in mind. And basically, the idea behind her is that she can store attack energy and then launch it all at once. So basically, as long as she doesn't have a target, Whenever she would attack, she would store that energy and then she would store it again until she finds someone to attack up to three times and then she would just unload all of that onto that person. Now obviously you would need a kit to enable this, right? And she has that. Uh, stored attack energy deals 130% damage, so she would hit you with about 1k damage. She stores that, she's gonna hit you with it, it's now gonna hit you for, I guess, 1300 we'll get into the math later her first skill is an attempt to be a actual caster but the range is very short and it's for five seconds i, I honestly don't know what the point of skill one is uh, i tried using it on cn it just confuses me i don't i don't get it skill two is what really enables her kit so she inflicts slumber onto two enemies right now this will actually go really well with Sora. For example, you could also use Sora to put them to sleep if they're within her range. And the reason you want to put them to sleep and not stun them is because you can't target sleeping enemies. You aren't Blemenshine. Basically, once they're asleep, she will just start storing energy. And immediately when they wake up, she will explode them with all of the charges. That's the idea. Because when the enemies wake up, you deal 300% arts damage to all enemies within close range of them. So it's like a big AOE nuke. She's, she basically exists to nuke something. So that's a kit. It's very interesting. I'm going to enjoy playing around with it. I don't know how good it will be against bosses because can you even put bosses to sleep? I think you can. I don't even know that. But it's a very interesting kit and it's something else to play around with. Also, her range is weird. So um, that's also something to play around with. I'm just excited because I love casters and she's a very interesting one. Now we're gonna to go to the last person on this banner, Beanstalk. Now Beanstalk is a character that I think is actually really good. Um, in terms of how good she is, I'm, I'm not, I don't follow meta so don't trust me on any of those things, but she is hella fun to play. I, I use her as my vanguard on CN and she is just amazing. Um, so basically skip all of this stuff, right? So her 
thing is she can be placed on a range tile yeah a vanguard on a range tile so she acts like a sniper she even has a sniper's range and everything here it is but she can also that's actually a very good attack but she can also place down this crab now this crab blocks one and it is just amazing it, it fights things i sh kid you not this crab will come to your house and it will take everything you love and hold dear and it will mess your shit up she's a summoner and the metal crab the metal crab is basically invincible as well because when it dies it just it just stops blocking it goes into the ground and it just starts recovering hp and then when it's full it comes back up also her skills i believe recover its hp to full automatically i don't see why not to use her she's a she's a freaking what 13 cost probably 12 because you'll probably get dupes of her because she's just a four star so you'll probably get it eventually she's a very low cost you place her she generates dp she takes care of aerial units she blocks melee units i don't know what more you can ask for running her and myrtle or her and elysium very good idea it's a very strong start to your it fixes so much of your early game problems skill one and two for beanstalk i think it's more about one is for more dp regeneration and two is for more effects now what two does is summon crabs around the crab so if there's an open block on the top on the left on the right and on the bottom all those spaces will be filled with crabs you will have five crabs so you'll obtain dp over that time so it'll still be giving dp it's much like you know when you pop a second skill of any vanguard they typically give more effects but you know they they're less worth for dp regeneration and all the metal crabs gain 70 percent defense and trust me these crabs do not need that defense they will they are so strong this is my favorite banner i love this banner to bits i can't believe that we are lucky enough to get three amazing characters on it i've never had this before where there's three characters on a banner and i want all of them i'm gonna be drawing for that when that comes out i will make a video on it uh sorry about the not streaming the drawers and things anymore because it's just internet's internet's been weird it turns off at random intervals and i don't want to just have the stream randomly turn off because it's such effort to get it back on again but yeah thank you so much for watching like i said you can join me on discord if you want to talk to me and hey enjoy the string of events that's coming because after keto i believe in mid july they announced that cc was coming out so it's just going to be events and events and there's going to be no time so enjoy it i'll see you all in the next one goodbye and good night <laughs>